This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Abus Bordeaux Light Model 6050. I decided to take a step up from the Model 5700 that I featured in a recent video and see what the 6000 series had to offer. Now there's a couple different models of the 6000 series, and this is the 6050, which is the Bordeaux Light. As its name implies, it gives you a much less massive package but the compromise there is you also get lessened security. I'll get into that in just a moment, but first let me show you how this lock works. It's an entirely self-contained unit with both the lock and the chain all part of one package that you can carry in this holster which straps onto the frame of your bike. To open it up, we insert the key, turn it 90 degrees, and when that happens, you are able to remove one end of the chain from the lock housing. Now, if we take a look at this, the end of the chain here, we can see that rather than a steel plate, like we saw in the model 5700, all we have is a five millimeter thick steel wire here. That's how they save the weight in this lock. And what that does is, at least in my view, severely compromise the security because that thick five millimeter by 20 millimeter plate was relatively resistant to bolt cutters. This five millimeter thick wire is not resistant at all. If we think about what that would mean if we had a five millimeter shackle on a padlock, I have one right here. This is a, a Lockwood with probably the tiniest shackle you've ever seen you certainly wouldn't think that could resist a bolt cutter, and I don't think it can. And to make matters even worse, it doesn't appear that this wire is even hardened. If we hit this with a, ch with a file, we can see that it, it cuts into it relatively easily. Let me zoom in, give you a better look at that. Just a couple little swipe swipes, and we put a nice deep cut into it. So. Not only is that a really thin section of wire, but it's also non-hardened. So I would not think this gives really any resistance to bolt cutters. What we are gonna do, however, is, uh, is see what this lock can do to resist a pick attack. That's really what we're here to do today. So let's take a look at this lock. If we look at this, we can see it looks like a five wafer lock and in fact that's that's pretty close to what it is however even though this does look like a double-sided wafer lock for some odd reason what we have are five wafers on the top and one wafer in the back on the bottom so picking them is not terribly difficult so let's do that right now let me put some tension in here and get started. One's loose, two's loose, three's loose, four's loose. Okay, five, we got a little movement on the core. Let me get the one on top now. And okay, got a little more movement on the core after pressing him. Back to one, click out of one, nothing on two, click out of three, Nothing on four, little click on five, nothing on the top one, back to one. And that's it, we opened it up. Now it is a wafer lock and oftentimes wafer locks can be raked. I was able to rake this, I'll say once out of every 10 attempts. I know there are some people who have had a little bit more luck raking these. However, I think just because of the really tough bidding on this, lock in particular this number three wafer that looks like it's at the highest cut surrounded by two very low cuts probably makes raking very difficult on this it cannot be bypassed i've checked this locking mechanism and if we look carefully i'll give you a good close-up of this if if we're able to see at least uh, There we go. 
you can see there is a, a locking lug that inserts into that, that last section of chain. It's not spring-loaded, we can't push it down, there's no way to bypass this. So that is certainly an improvement over the 5700. However, the 5700 appears to be superior in pretty much every other respect. It is more resistant to bolt cutters. I think it's more pick resistant. And uh, well, and that's really the, uh, the name of the game is keeping the thief out. Now, if weight is a huge concern for you, this might be something you want to consider. However, for me, I would be much more concerned about a bike lock being able to secure your belongings. And in that regard, this Abus model 6050 Bordeaux Lite really doesn't do much for you. That's all I have for you on this lock. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.